Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing great. Many people ask which programming language is best for solving DSA problems. Does it even matter if you choose one language over another in a coding interview to solve DSA problems? There are a lot of programming languages now to choose from. There is C, there is C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, Rust, and there are a lot more. So it becomes very difficult to choose one program language, the best program language, the best programming language for you and move ahead to solve DSA problems. I briefly talked about this topic in my previous video, but in this video, we are going to deep dive and reveal and check what is the best programming language for you to solve DSA problem. So let's get started. Whenever you join college in India, at least the first programming language that you will be taught in most of the colleges will be C. C is a great language to start with, I would suggest. Yes, you heard it right. C is a great programming language to start. Why not quickly look into can C be the contender for solving DSA problem? A simple answer is yes, it can be. But there are few limitations that can stop you choosing C for solving DSA problems, right? But why should you learn C? You should learn C because it teaches you very, very deep fundamentals of programming. When I started with C, I was just learning programming. It was not just learning the syntax of the, you know, uh, a programming language. It was all about learning the programming construct, right? Be it uh, if else, be it loops, be it other things, right? And C does it well. C teaches you what are variables. It, it teaches you what, how a memory is allocated. It teaches you how a memory is deleted, while various other pro, you know high-level programming languages omits that and you know just give you, uh, uh, give you construct to write code in like human readable language. Right? If you want to learn programming and fundamental, I will definitely suggest to get started with C before moving to any other languages. You can definitely solve DSA problem with C up to a certain extent before a thing comes <laughs> that I will discuss at the end of this video. So C is a great language to learn a programming construct. The question should be, then why not go away to C? The simple answer is, when you are solving DSA problem, building some data structure with C, that would be great. But when you are given an algorithmic problem where you need to use a data structure, in an interviews, interview are generally for like 30-45 minutes. You don't have time to implement that data structure that is required for your algorithmic problem. You have to import that from somewhere where it is already implemented and you have to use that in your problem, right? And many other programming languages like C++, Java, Python provides that. That's why people always go with that particular languages and most, most famous one are C, plus plus java and python we let's let's just quickly look into uh which language to choose from but the question is why not c because c doesn't have a standard template library or standard library where data structures are already implemented but other languages like c plus plus java and python already have this implemented you just need to import that data structure and use it in your you know algorithm problems to solve that so for example, if you want to use stack in a particular algorithmic problem, you don't have time to you know implement the entire stack, then use that stack in your algorithmic problem. You just want to bring that from a library and use stack directly, right? You don't have time to implement entire stack. So that is the point of time where this standard template library definitely help. I would suggest learn C, but you should have knowledge of one language which have a standard template library before moving further and there are good containers for that like c java python and let's just look into these languages and see which languages could be the best programming language for you to solve dsa problems by now we have already understood like why you can't go ahead with c right but there are other languages like c java and python Let's talk about the benefits, pros and cons of them and choose and decide your best programming language for doing DSA. Let's start with C++. 
So I would suggest if you have already started with C and know C uh, to a certain extent, C++ would be great to start with because C and C++ have like kind of same syntax structures and it is very easy to understand if someone already knows C. C++ is kind of super set to C. So it's just, you know, matter of time which you can give to C++ and it will be, it will be very smooth learning for you because you already know C. C++ has STL that we talked about where all the data structure are already implemented. You just need to bring them to your program and use them. C++ is very, very powerful and very fast as well. Many of the compilers and various other engines that you see in the browsers are implemented in C++. And one of the best thing about C++ would be every site or, you know, almost every site you go on internet to see DSA problem solution, you will definitely find C++ at the language. Most of the time you'll get, you'll get solution in C++ at least or Java at least, but C++ will be there, I guess, for most of the time. C++ is the object oriented programming. Next thing is when you're building a real life application, right? C++ would be helpful because it has cons it, it is an object oriented programming language. You can visualize everything as classes and objects and solve your problem. That's how real dev real software development also happens. But the thing is, there are very less opportunities in C++ as a fresher because it's very deal with the very core things and there are very least company that directly deals with very core thing. For example, if you take a programming languages or frameworks that is implemented in C++, but you are not directly writing C++, it is just abstracted and there is some other framework that you are using that is very high level. So you don't get directly chance to work on C++, but there are various companies that still work on C++ and produce very great quality products. But as a fresher, it's very less chance to get into software development uh, using C++. There will be generally, you know, web development or, you know, app development or others as a fresher role you can get in. C++ has a demand, but not like, you know, other frameworks in software development at least. So there are very less direct orientation of C++ in majority of the company, but there are companies that are doing it and C++ produce great quality results as a developer. Next thing is Java, right? You might have already heard, heard about like Java as a programming language. Let's talk about some benefits first. Again, Java is a OOPS programming language that is object oriented. So you can only always apply Java to solve real world problem. You can visualize Java classes and objects as a real world objects and classes and you can solve them, right? Java is great property there. Java is like user of lot of companies, lot of companies still because their huge code bases are still in Java. Uh, Java provides other opportunity as well, like Android development or desktop app development or web development itself. Like, you know, choosing a frame backend framework like Spring that is very, very famous at various companies still and they use it heavily right now. It's again, it's have a very, very powerful library where from which you can bring, you know, data structure directly and use them in your algorithmic problems. Best for, you know, app development, development, at least it, it, it can get you a lot of jobs opportunity because there are a lot of companies that are doing software development with Java. We already talked about cons, like it, you have to write a lot of code, a lot of code for doing even simple thing. If you want to print hello world in Java, there will be at least like 10 to 15 lines you have to write just to print that. Whereas in Python, you just write one line, right? Or even if you're solving a problem in C++ printing hello world, it will at least take less lines of code in C++. So more writing you have to do in Java. And also it's not very beginner friendly to learn. Uh, people get stuck in Java when they directly start into it. I have heard this uh, uh, many times as well. But if you want to do, you can obviously go ahead and start with Java as well. It has rich set of libraries and it can open opportunity for software development as well. The next one, uh, Python. Python have been booming a lot because a lot of machine learning stuff and you know, other analysis stuff have been done in Python. But question is, uh, is it a great contender for DSA? Yes, it is because it's simple to learn. One of the most important cons is uh, pros of one of the most important pros of Python language is easy to learn. It is written in very uh, 
great way that you know it's give you high level uh, structure and when you write pro python program is just like you are talking to someone in english is that simple it's very abstract right so it's very easy to learn as a human as a programmer next thing is very good for project and development if you learn python for dsa you can apply the same to do other projects as well like django is one of the back end framework that many web app has we can develop back end apis with django there are a lot of stuff that goes on machine learning with python there are a lot of stuff that goes into cli command line interface building with python there are a lot of thing that goes in scraping website and other tools generating building other tools using python so python has definitely great sto scope in development again it is a oops object oriented programming language you can definitely solve a real world uh, problem using python visualizing everything as a class as an object most importantly for dsa it has built in libraries so you can bring any data structure uh, like list or heaps from python library and use them in your algorithmic problems that you get the cons is uh, although you know it abstracted highly abstracted it kind of brings one of the you know downside of python it is a bit slower than other languages i'm not talking about in the sense when you are implementing something on lead code using c++ it will be faster or python it will be slower it, in in that terms it's generally abstracted and given you know right amount of time i'm talking about in terms of performance when you are developing real world application it is bit slower than other languages but it is abstracted a lot and that abstraction needs to be converted into you know low level and that takes a lot of processing and time so yes it's bit slower than other languages but still like you know there are a lot of people prefer python so we have talked about c we have talked about c++ java python there are other languages great languages as well that you can always look forward and solve uh, problems with that even like you know people solve uh, dsa with javascript and even i have tried that as well but the question is now does it matter if you choose one language over another to solve dsa problems the simple answer is no it doesn't matter it just should be your your ease to code something in a particular programming language it doesn't matter in lot in a interview the simple answer is no because when you are given a problem to solve in an interview interviewer generally check for logic how you are applying your logic and coming up with the solution this is you know seen in an interview it's not like you know language could not be barrier in an interview i would suggest right generally uh, i would suggest choose any language and make it strong and solve dsa with that you don't need to very be you know strong star in a programming language just learn the basic start with dsa and over the time you can you know just you know learn about something that is you need in solving a dsa problem and this is how learning goes right so don't switch between languages that will just waste your time and and you will not grab very much you know depth expertise in one language if you keep switching i would suggest just choose one language learn the basics start with dsa and keep on learning keep on learning and keep on learning and this is how it happens and the language doesn't matter much because every interviewer that is taking interview we have already talked about see the logic but they are generally experienced and they understand the syntax and they have seen lot of languages already so they can easily understand like you know what you are doing trying to do in an interview that for a problem that is given to you so simple answer choose one stick to it move on to dsa and keep learning keep learning keep learning and this is how i have done with c++ i chose c++ because i already knew c that was easy for me that we have already talked about why it is easy for me it's just an extension of c++ with that i'll finish this video and if you have any doubts just comment down in the section and let me know which languages you are choosing to go ahead with solving dsa problems it's your choice make sure that you stick to one and go ahead also we are going to hit 3k soon we are closing by so just consider subscribing to this channel if you gain any value out of this video i'll also plan a giveaway out of you know when you reach 3000 so just do that subscribe to that channel share this video with someone who is looking to start dsa and confuse between which language to choose i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye